Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of EV Unite. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can mount any electric vehicle charger in between two garage bays on a wooden platform just like this one. Now, if you're new to the channel and you're into electric vehicle content, then please consider subscribing. And at the end of the video, if you find any value in it, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. So without further ado, let's get started. So you can see right here, we've got the Grizzly 40 amp Avalanche Edition charger mounted on the wall here. And this is actually part of a video series that I'll link in the description below. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about the platform that I have this mounted on, and that's why I wanted to create this video. Now, mounting your electric vehicle charger in between the two garage bays is a fantastic option because it allows you to reach a car parked on either side of the garage or even reach cars that are parked in the driveway. Now you can imagine that if you were to take your charger and mount it on this surface here, it would actually interfere with the garage door shutting. So this platform offsets it so that it's either flush or slightly proud of the tracks, and that allows you to wrap the cable around without interfering. Now, if you're someone handy and you have a table saw and a pocket hole jig, as well as some basic hand tools laying around, then this is a project that you can complete over the course of a weekend. But I'm also gonna be offering this for purchase, so if you're interested in buying one, then please send me an email at evunite1 at gmail.com, or you could check out our website at evunite.com for more information. So I've gone ahead and taken the charger off of the wall so you can get a better idea of how this works here. So typically a charger will have a bracket and that bracket can mount nicely onto this panel. The panel itself is held in position using these eight screws. There's four on either side. Now it's important that this panel is strong because you're gonna be mounting heavy duty screws through it to mount both the charger. And in some cases, there's also separate storage for the handle holster itself. So now let's go ahead and remove the eight screws so you can see what's happening behind the panel. All right, so first let's take a look at this panel itself. So this panel on the back here, you can see is actually three quarter inch plywood. So there's two plies here and they're being fixed together using pocket hole screws and there's eight of them holding it in the back. Now you can see there's also a molding piece on the top and the bottom and that's giving it a nice clean aesthetic when you're looking at the panel from the front. By having two three quarter inch pieces of plywood screwed together, you're getting an inch and a half, which gives you a really strong and sturdy surface to screw into from the front. And that's important because a lot of chargers come with heavy duty screws and you wanna make sure that the charger is mounted really strong and securely onto the wall. So the front panel is being screwed down these two edges and these offsets are mounted onto the wall using pocket hole screws that you could see running down the edge. Now you can also see down here, this is the NEMA 14-50 outlet, and that also has a backer plate behind it. It's important that the length of this plus the thickness of the board itself offsets it so that you're at least flush with the track, if not slightly sitting proud of it. You can also see that the outer surfaces that you could see have been painted white, and that's just so that it matches the garage and looks nice. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, then please make sure to leave those in the comment section below. If you found any value in the video, then please consider giving it a like. 
And if you're new to the channel and are interested in electric vehicle content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.